as well. You must be a very, very happy man after that, Neil. Yes, I kept having it reminded to me how bad we are on telly by uh, <laughs> certain members of the press. So it was... Uh, a bit leakers. Yeah, it might have been, yeah. It was, it was obviously, it was great. It's a local derby um, on telly. So, you know, we felt hard done by in the one earlier in the season at their place. So uh, it's good to put that right. We've just been talking, myself and Mark Stallard, then about goal of the season competition. Um, Enzio's having one on his own. Uh, <laughs> I wonder what is your favourite goal of the season so far? Well, to be honest with you, I don't think anyone else can beat doilies, can they? I mean, Probably not. <laughs> just so. because of the last kick and, you know, I think uh, your commentary on it was certainly right up there with the, with the best of them. So I think um, just for sheer excitement, that one's going to win it. I appreciate that. You made my evening. Um, what pleased you so much in particular about that performance? Um, strangely enough, it's the defending of our box. So, you know, obviously I was very frustrated um, last week at, at Dagenham because I felt in control of the game when, when, when we went 1-0 down. So today, knowing that they would put Diags in for the big man, knowing that they had a very long throw from the right-hand side, um, which was a real weapon, I knew that if we didn't get that part right, we could, we could find ourselves um, chasing the game. So, you know... I always believe the NGOs, Callum Roberts, you know, West Thomas, players like that can flourish, but they need to flourish off of a, a real solid bedrock, and we showed that today. Yeah, clean sheet. I think you had like something like five clean sheets in your last six before Dagenham last weekend. That must be one of the elements of the games today that's probably pleased you the most, right? Yeah, because I just believe if we don't give away silly goals, if teams score a great goal against us, then fine. If we don't give away silly goals that we can avoid, then I believe that the chances are we're going to be there or thereabouts with winning or drawing games, and that, that's what we need to keep doing. A huge part of that clean sheet today is Ross Fitzsimons, who's had a, an interesting two or three weeks, to, to say the least. Um, how impressed were you by that this afternoon? That was great. Ross came to see me on Thursday. We had a chat and, you know, like I said, you, you, you have to earn the right to be in the team. You know, I don't make promises to anybody. And, and Ross has, has come in today. I thought with, with what had gone on with him being at Chesterfield, I thought he didn't need any motivation anyway um, to perform well. And, and he did. Great penalty save, although it wasn't a, a very good penalty, but great penalty save. And, and he's made one or two others. Yeah, brilliant save up to his top corner as well. Was there ever any, any doubt that he'd come in and do a professional job for you today? No, no, not at all. You know, last week, you know, wasn't ideal. He, he, he got called up later to come make his way down to the team, etc. So last week wasn't ideal, but no, I, I, no doubt at all. We're live on telly, everyone's going to be up for it. Everyone's going to do the right things and, uh, and we've got a professional performance. What does this future hold now? No idea. As far as I'm concerned, we turn up Monday and we go to work. So, um, you know, we're looking as a board and, and staff as to whether in the running that's a position now we need to strengthen. Uh, when I say strengthen, it would be, you know, bring somebody in and have competition. Um, and we'll make that decision and, and there might be something coming up next week. We don't know. Um, but that's what we want. We want competition. We want players that want to be here and we want competition. So say you were to be able to bring a goalkeeper in and a couple have been mentioned, one who uh, has left your, your former club yes. uh, down at Wimbledon. Say one was to be brought in, what would that mean for Ross? That would mean there's a, a fight for the number one jersey while Sam Slocum's injured. So he wouldn't just go back out on loan? No, not, well, that would be his decision if he wanted to, but, but no, generally you know, we're looking to strengthen. But like I say, we want, you know, if, 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 if we do strengthen and Ross wants to be here and fight for the jersey, great. If he doesn't, then we, we'll make a decision based on that. Back to the good stuff. Uh, Kyle Wooten with a couple of goals out there today. His first since he signed that permanent contract, which is a complete irrelevance, and yet it gets talked about. And so give me your thoughts on that. Yeah, it, it can happen. I thought Kyle handled the scrutiny of what he was going through as far as you know whether we could get the deal done whether he was going to join us in the first place he carried on playing well and scoring goals and normally from my experience as a player that's a part when your head can go a little bit because um, you don't know you're uncertain of your future so once he committed um, to then go through a little bit of a, a spell of, of barren it can happen but um, you know you keep getting yourself in the right positions then then um, things are going to happen and like they said I think probably the best goal really in many ways for him is the third goal where he's, he's, he's showed a striker's instinct to follow up because if he adds them to his, his game he'll get 20 goals How did you rate Jim O'Brien's performance? Yeah really good um, you know he's calm he, he, he understands football he wants the ball he, he'll, I think the difference with Jim to a lot of players he'll try things in, in sometimes in areas that give me a heart attack but he <laughs> he, um, he tries things and, and you know he'll try a reverse pass he'll try things he's got that sort of think, vision about him I just said don't over try you know don't force it do it in the right times in the right areas but no it's great you know 
I was worried losing Sam Slocum and Doyley. Um, I was worried because both of them have been outstanding. So for the boys to come in and do great, you know, that sums up what we've done so far this season when we've had injuries. We've, we've kept chipping away. I thought Dion Kelly Evans did brilliantly at left back. Yeah, absolutely. We, we need a little bit of work on his left foot. <laughs> but um, no, he's he, he done great. Dion's a bundle of energy. Sometimes it's not bundles of difference between left back, right back. I've played them both myself, and um, you know it's just that you naturally come inside. But but with Enzio out there, with the wingers we've got and the problems they cause, and they like to play inside anyway, it, it wasn't a problem. What's going to happen with those other injuries now? Have we got any clearer idea about how long Slocum will be out for? Um, Sam, we feel that you know he's he's looking like a six to eight week job. It's a grade two. It's not not great news. You know Ben Turner. We're hoping to get him on the grass and into really good work next week. Um, Regan's a bit slower. He needs probably an injection to try and settle things down to, to move on. Um, and obviously Doyley, with a bit of luck, he's only going to miss one more league game. Um, so, so we can get him back in it. And um, like I say, we need to go into that. If we can get everyone back going into the last 10 games of the season and we have a full squad and I've got problems selecting the team, then it's great. McCrory and Zamana Bakayogo, they'll be OK? I'd like to think they'll both be back next week. And so the FA Trophy game next week at Yeovil does count as one of Michael Doyle's suspended games? Yes, yes, it does. Yeah, absolutely. Are you excited about the running now? Yeah, I think I was looking at the results today. You know, one thing I, I know from my experience of runnings is that the the last 10 games you know it becomes real you know you chip away and you get through them winter months and you get to them last 10 games and it becomes real it, it's there you can taste it and and that's when the pressure really mounts people talk about it a lot more so we've got experience we've got players who've been promoted um i'm going to certainly stay relaxed about it and if we can keep that nice feel about it then who knows what we can achieve appreciate your time well done today thank Phil you. Foy. thank you very thank much you. Yeah, can I talk to you about Car uh, Callum Roberts' performance today? Um, for a play young player making his debut at Medal Lane, he had an excellent game, didn't he? Yeah, I think um, I think you can see the way he moves. Everything we saw in him, you know, his, his first touch is wonderful. He's got that low centre of gravity, that change of direction. He's got pace, um, and, and he can go either way. And I, you know, he's lovely to watch. I was going to say he's also very mature for such a young age, isn't he? I mean, just doesn't seem to let anything phase him. Well, I think. When you probably when you've played at St James's Park, I think uh, Meadow Lanes. <laughs> and they're, 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 bo they're both uh, black and white, but um, I think Meadow Lanes, um, although it's it's got an intimidation to it, I think it's probably not quite St James's Park. But the, I mean, because for some young players, they sometimes look a bit erratic at times. But he showed lovely control and awareness. At I think if you know he, he understands the game. One thing we saw when we we looked at him and we scouted him was he doesn't try and do things at the wrong time, and that's a key. You know, wingers are quite fizzy, aren't they? As we know, they can fit in and out of games. They try things when it's not on, but we want them to try things when it's not on. Um, but with Callum, he has got that head on his shoulders where he sees that oh, I won't force it. I'll come out. We'll recycle. We'll play again. He can see that. He picks up some lovely little areas, and we knew that the way we like to play our wingers would suit him. You know, and we've got that Enzio and him can both go on the outside and cross and they can come inside and score and um, hopefully that will help us uh, in the running. How pleasing is that as a manager to have threat like that on both flanks? Yeah, absolutely, because, you know, in, to be fair to, to Shieldsy and, and Aussie, you know, they've done great when they've been in the team and they've got slightly different qualities, um, but, but they're two players who every time they've come in have done really, really well. So it's hard, it's hard for me because I've got good lads who work, work really, really hard and sometimes you have to leave them out. Um, to pick the team, but that's what we want competition in the running. Um, fabulous performance overall, what was the most pleasing aspect for you? Um, I, I think probably the, the sort of clean sheet, defending the long throws into the box, the diagonals onto Denton. You know, last week it cost us just that switching off. This week we've, um, you know, we've kept the clean sheet bodies on the line, one ahead us. And I believe if we do that, you look at the firepower we've got and the way that we go forward, I believe if we do that we can control games and we can create and score goals. Have you seen the penalty back or what was your verdict on it? I thought it was a penalty when I saw it live, I haven't seen it back, so I thought we got wrong side and and once you get wrong side it's always an advantage to the attacker. How crucial was, was that save in the context of the game? I think of course it is, you're chasing a game 1-0 down, they, they've got something to cling on to, it makes a huge difference. First goal is always massive in any game. Um, you know, half time once we got in and Ross saved the penalty, which was great. Half time once we got in at nil nil, you know, we just said be patient, the chances will come. If we, we knew if we scored that the game would open up. 
And we're waiting to talk to this man, the Dutchman on, on the left. He's scored some fabulous goals this season. What's, what's your most favourite Enzio goal? Well, I think he just saves it for telly. He's one of these people <laughs> that um, he likes. He likes all the credit the telly give him. So, you know, Barnet and and, uh, and he moved on to this one today. So uh, it's all the work I do on him in training. He, he won't give me any credit, but it is definitely all the work I do on him in training. Um, final question. We've got to talk about goalkeepers. You were linked with Joe McDonnell yesterday. Can you tell us anything about that? Um, we we put a um, we put a list together uh, of goalkeepers and we looked at going in the running. Do we need to have strength in that position? And we all decided, and the board decided, yes, that's likely. So we've worked. Joe McDonnell is one of them on that list. Um, we've gone through what we think the best option would be. Um, so I'm not going to rule him out, um, but we, it's something we might look to do next week. Um, we need competition and we need strength.